Now, it would be very, very convenient if we could use food to help restore proper neurotransmitter function. And we actually tried to do this many, 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 many times, especially when we first started working with amino acid therapy and neurotransmitter imbalances back in the early 2000s. Uh, and we found out it just doesn't work, and it doesn't work for two reasons. The first is that each individual person has a unique need for amino acids. So each person's needs are specific to them. And no food is going to contain the exact combination of amino acids that that person needs, let alone a group of people would need to restore proper function. And second, even if you could find that magic food, the uptake of amino acids into the brain isn't selective. And what that means is that when you eat a given food, it contains all sorts of amino acids. It may not contain all 22, but it contains a number of amino acids. Um, but what happens then is they all go into this pool and the brain takes them up out of that pool, but it does so in a random fashion. It's not selective. So it'd be difficult, if not impossible, to get uh, a specific amino acid up into the brain, which is what we're trying to do, because we're trying to um, influence only specific neurotransmitters. And each neurotransmitter has its own specific amino acid precursor. So what we do then is we use amino acid therapy, which gives you very specific amounts of amino acids and cofactors. And we try to take them away from food so that then that big pool contains just basically the only thing, the, um, the cofactors that we want and nothing that we don't. So then the brain just keeps taking them up at random, but the only thing that's there are the amino acids, the specific amino acids that we need to help each individual person rebalance their neurotransmitter function. So for most people, the vast majority of people, uh, using balanced amino acid therapy, giving them the specific amino acids that they need that are unique to them is really the only way that they're going to be able to restore proper neurotransmitter function and alleviate their symptoms.